This is Town Square Sunday On Demand. And now, 1420 WBSM's Jim Phillips. The Bristol County District Attorney's Office is working with Coastline of New Bedford in sponsoring a celebration of seniors at Whites of Westport on Friday, June 16th from 9 to noon. A number of agencies will be attending, uh, providing seniors with uh, a lot of information about elder abuse and related problems, related issues. District Attorney Thomas Quinn and Community Affairs uh, Program Manager Brian Rose from the DA's office join us today to talk about the senior fair and the problems of elder abuse in Bristol County. Good morning uh, to both. Welcome. Morning, Jim. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Um, District Attorney, how prevalent is elder abuse, either physical or emotional, uh, here in Bristol County? You get a lot of cases? Yes, it's very prevalent in Bristol County and throughout the country, sadly. Um, when I became district attorney almost eight and a half years ago, it was clear to me that uh, there were significant issues with facing our seniors. I mean, physical abuse is reprehensible. Uh, that's obviously happened over the years, but um, there have been cases of neglect that resulted in death. Uh, but more importantly, it became obvious that uh, our senior citizens were being victims of scams, you know, through thieves and con artists mm-hmm. that were uh, taking their hard-earned money and causing them a lot of mental distress and turmoil. Uh, so I created a unit, a uh, financial crime unit, which had focused on uh, investigating elder fraud, but even more important than that was the prevention part. So I started in 2015 uh, going to every senior center in the county, which I have visited uh, each one for the most part more than, you know, multiple times Mm -hmm. to spread the message of prevention. Uh, I think that this is the bottom line. Our seniors have done so much for our communities. They've made these communities what they are, and they deserve to be protected. And I'm not just talking about it. I've done something about it and will continue to do do that, but it has to be a team effort. These uh, are difficult cases uh, to investigate and prosecute because they are at times involve loved ones mm. who manipulate uh, family members, um, and you need to have evidence to prosecute and, and a willing victim. So we've been very successful in a number of prosecutions, but the message of prevention has been spread and will continue to be spread, especially with uh, not having access to our seniors for approximately two years because of the pandemic. All right. So um, there is, as you mentioned, uh, District Attorney, there is a uh, family part of this that uh, is also very sad, and that's if family members prey on their older parents or other relatives and uh, and either take their money or and somehow terrorize them in some way. And, and that, that may be the most common thing you see. Is that pretty much it? Well, it, that is very common, but we may not see some of it because it has to be reported. I mean, I think the word that you use is very appropriate, terrorize, because ultimately that's what often happens is you get someone that harasses or terrorizes uh, an elder, a grandparent or a parent into giving them money uh, when they don't want to do it. Now, it's their right to give money to family members, but clearly uh, when it's under du- uh, duress, especially if it involves someone who's drug addicted or has some other vice. Um, you know, we have prosecuted those cases, but I, I think the message is let's not be concerned with turning the loved one in or getting them in trouble. You don't deserve to be treated like that. You are in the, you know, the latter stages of your life, the latter part of your life. You've given, you know, dedicated your life to your families and the community, and you, to the extent that you, you know, can be free of health issues that, you know, people all face, should be able to have some enjoyment, not be uh, having bank accounts uh, 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 liquidated because through family members. uh, uh, And I think banks and those uh, play an important part of it, and they've done a good job in sizing up some of these situations that can result in money being taken by seeing the the signals that are there and maybe asking the elder, you know, you really want to do this. I mean, it's their decision, but I think that has the banks and financial institutions have done a good job preventing some of these crimes from occurring or crimes. Yeah, I'd say it's a crime, but certainly uh, this uh, giving money under duress to family members. Well, this senior celebration, uh, Brian Rose, sounds like a good time. Uh, breakfast, uh, lots of folks getting together, but there's some, some important information available 
uh, at this event too, right? No, that's correct. And, and it's just great to get people back out together and, and actually celebrating the day. And, you know, with the pandemic the last few years and to be able to go out and, you know, functions and in halls and even getting over to your local COAs, people were nervous. People were scared to, to leave their houses. And now that that's kind of behind us, we're going to continue to showcase the services and programs that are here in Bristol County. And I think that's the big thing because once you get to the senior uh, age group, um, you're not really sure what's available out there for you. And that, I think, is a big thing uh, that we're trying to showcase here because, again, a lot of the local towns and, and cities have the COAs that services are there and they're there to help. So we're hoping to highlight that and we're also hoping to you know, have a few guest speakers there to enlighten some things that, again, that may, they may not be aware of. Uh, I want to mention that June, I believe, is uh, Elder um, Abuse Awareness Month. And uh, so it's appropriate that this event is being held in June on Friday, <laughs> June 16th, pardon me, from 9 to noon at Whites of Westport. That's at 65 State Road in the town of Westport. Um, District Attorney, uh, your office does a lot of outreach on this issue not just uh, once a year, you, you, as you mentioned, you visit senior centers, you go to forums, you uh, certainly meet with the press when appropriate about, about this issue. Um, and that leads me to believe that, you know, this is something that happens quite a bit. Even if they don't report it, there's a feeling, I think, that there's stuff going on all over the county. No, no question about it. And I'll give you an example. We were up in the northern part of the county, I believe it was last year, last spring or summer, and I'm talking to the group, making, you know, some comments about the various scams and prevention. Somebody raises their hand in one of the groups and just says, well, they, uh, my husband was almost the victim of sending like $25,000 to, let's call it Costa Rica, or one of the countries in Latin America. Yeah. Fortunately, the wife had, I think the wife had just come into the event and said, we called the senior center and they said, no, don't do it. But uh, that's going on all the time. And when you speak at the centers, you sadly hear cases of uh, people who have been duped by a variety of scammers, whether it's, you know, uh, IRS or the grandparent scam. So... It's important enough to me to go out there, and I'm going to continue to do it, uh, to meet with our seniors. I mean, I, I, I care about them. I care about their well-being, and I'm not just going to talk about protecting our seniors, but I'm going to do everything I can with the office to protect them and investigate uh, matters. But prevention is much better than trying to recoup money that, in most cases, you'll never get back. Sure. Sadly. Yep. You're listening to Town Square Sunday. I'm Jim Phillips, my guest, the Bristol County District Attorney, Thomas Quinn, and Brian Rose, the Community Affairs Program Manager for the DA's office. We're talking about the celebration for seniors Friday, June 16th at Whites of Westport. Uh, Brian, what does it take to organize a forum like this one that's coming up on the 16th? Where do these folks come from? You've got a good partner in Coastline. Absolutely. Great partnership, great collaboration with Coastline and also all of the COAs throughout Bristol County. Um, again, we we lean heavily on them to try to you know g gather the community and get the information out, and uh, especially doing stuff like this. Thank you for having us here and getting the word out, because again, the ability to get out and, and even learn one thing is going to make you better. Because again, that's like really take pride into going to a lot of these senior centers and giving these speeches and talking stories and sometimes hearing stories makes you a little bit smarter so if the phone rings and uh it's someone portraying your grandchild saying that they're in an accident and they need money right away oh i just heard that story at our speech down the road uh, a couple weeks ago i know this is not right i'm going to hang up the phone or i'm going to check with my loved one and see if they are actually in prison it's it's the scammers that are trying to take the hard-earned money of these of our of our seniors and listening to these stories hopefully will teach them or uh, introduce them to something that's already out there and make them aware of it so you've got hundreds of people coming to this fair where do they come from 
Right now, they're coming from all over Bristol County. Um, we have we have people coming from North Attleboro, Taunton, Norton, Easton, and then you 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 lean down here. A lot of people are coming from New Bedford, Fairhaven, uh, Dartmouth, Westport, uh, even Somerset, Swansea, and Seekonk. So all over Bristol County, uh, I think the um, the success of this uh, day has really grown to the point where. People are really interested in coming and in, 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 in gaining a little bit of knowledge. Obviously, the free breakfast helps. Sure. But we also have 70 tables, uh, resource tables there that are going to be handing out uh, giveaways, uh, information about services, and maybe things to look for in the community in case, uh, in case they are needed. And there'll be a few speakers too, Rob, right, Tom? Yes, there's a series of speakers. Uh, I'm going to give opening remarks, and uh, we have... Um, I think some of our sponsors uh, will speak, and I want to thank all of the sponsors of the event. And again, as Brian mentioned, number of resource tables. But it's really a way to uh, acknowledge our seniors for all they've done, but it's also very important to continue to provide, make them aware of services available to them in various areas, but also the critical part of prevention. And I've said very simply, we, we can talk about different things and they're stealing mail and all, you know, all these thieves and scam artists, but here's the bottom line on a phone call. Don't answer the phone unless you know who it is because nothing good will come from it other than liquidating an attempt to liquidate your bank account. Yeah. And that happens a lot. Uh, so we got speakers, we got breakfast, we got people talking and sharing information. Um, and you get 70 tables, Brian, of uh, folks, agencies with offering help in some way. Absolutely, and, and, and services. And uh, it's just wonderful to see all of these companies taking the time out of their busy schedules to come and sit and, and hopefully give some information to our seniors. And that's the care factor I think we have in this community. And it's, gre it's great to have the collaboration of people trying to provide a service, especially to this generation like Tom said, who has done so much for our communities. And it is, it is very, very important to us that we continue to, to provide these services and protect our seniors as much as possible. Um, so for seniors like Mr. and Mrs. Phillips in Dartmouth, we can just uh, drive over and walk in. What do we have to do to, to get in? Sure. Um, what we would love to happen yep. is for people to kind of pre-register so we have a, a good number of count. Because, again, Whites of Westport has been very accommodating. Um, and, again, we had close to four or 500 people last year. We're already at that mark when it comes wow. to our, our pre-sign up. So if you do want to come, uh, if possible, please contact me at the district attorney's office at 508-961-1972. And you can also send me an email if you're an email type person mm -hmm. at brian period rose at m a s s dot g o v, which okay. brian dot rose at mass dot gov. So if you're thinking of going, you have to pre-register. It's only fair, sure. And this is all free. Nobody's going to hand you a. You're going to have to buy a ticket or anything like that. So it's That's free, correct. Uh, it's on the house, event. as they say. <laughs> on the house, according to the district attorney. That's fine. All right. So. Any final thoughts, uh, Tom, on uh, this event and on this problem? I know you want to, Brian. Going to have Brian mention these sponsors, but uh, any thoughts? Yeah, just I'm I'm just excited to to, to reinstitute the event for the second year after COVID. Uh, it's been very well attended. It's very important because it's very important because it highlights the continued effort we need to make in protecting our seniors. Highlight what they've done and bring a series of speakers that can, you know, hopefully provide information to them. There'll be assistance. We have the assistant director of protective services from elder office, uh, executive office of elder affairs coming. So I'm just very happy to do it. It's a celebration, but it's also business to point out the important things that they need to do to protect themselves. It's sad, but you know what? That's how you got to view it in the world that we live in. Uh, this is business in terms of protecting yourself, and you got to take precautions because of the many thieves that are out there to abuse our elderly who are vulnerable victims, who I am prioritizing and will continue to prioritize. They don't need to be uh, subject to this. It's massive, but we're going to do our part to work with them to protect them. A fun event with a serious purpose. That's uh, how we look at it here. 
I know you wanted to mention some sponsors. Absolutely. Our platinum sponsor, Anodyne, this year, a huge sponsor for us. Uh, AARP, Senior Whole Health, South Coast Health, Mechanics Cooperative Bank, United Healthcare Community Plan, all of these people, including more, uh, Beata, um, St. Anne's Hospital, Bay Coast Bank, Supernaut and Bonanski, PC, Tufts Health Plan, Community, uh, Commonwealth Care Alliance, Fallon Health, all these groups are going to be there, and it is going to be an awesome time, and we hope that you guys can join us. And I think it's uh, it's really important that, uh, you know, these sponsors, you, you don't do something like this without sponsors. You can't do it, really. No, you, you can't, and I, I do want to express my gratitude for them uh, in, in assisting this and Coastline uh, Elderly. So, you know, it's a good partnership, and we want to continue to move forward with these initiatives and protecting our seniors. My guests have been District Attorney Thomas Quinn and Community Affairs Program Manager Brian Rose. We've been talking about elder abuse in Bristol County. And the Senior Celebration coming up on Friday, June 16th at Whites of Westport, sponsored by the District Attorney's Office and Coastline of New Bedford. Thank you both for coming in, and good to see you again. You too, Jim. Thank you. Take care. Thank you, Jim. Stay with us. Town Square Sunday will continue in just a moment.